It's water, folks. I'm still on my no alcohol, no meat. So dry -uary and veg -uary. <laughs> Even though I did have a couple slip ups. If you wanna know how this detox has been going, keep watching. Hey guys, so I wanted to do a end of the month check in and let you know how my dryuary and veguary went, the detox where I did not have any meat or any alcohol. So, I know the big question is, <laughs> did I make it all the way through? And unfortunately, that's a no. Because, let me, let me explain. Okay, I really do hate that I I cheated but only okay without alcohol it's very hard if you do have somewhat of a life like I feel like I'm a grandma but I did miss it on the weekends when I did go out um, but I made it I made it two whole weeks without one sip of alcohol without one sip and so I am very proud of that I mean 14 days when you're a 27 year old who has a high stress job and is actually somewhat social and I'm finding out now um, after trying not to drink I, I find out that I'm actually sociable um, so I think 14 days with no alcohol was great and I honestly feel that if I were to do it again if I were to do a detox or a cleanse again it would just be for two weeks versus a whole month because in two weeks I honestly in a week I felt the difference of not having any meat and not having any alcohol I felt more I, I just noticed the changes in my body. So I feel like if you were just looking to get it out of your system and to feel the difference that your body was working differently and absorb things differently and that sort of thing, you really only need two weeks because anything that has happened, happened in, in those first two weeks, you know? Um, a lot of people are thinking that I was doing no meat to, to really do the weight loss. Um, which I do want benefits from weight loss for weight loss, but that wasn't the sole goal um, I've been noticing lately before the new year that I was just like feeling really like heavy and and, and uh, Miserable when I would eat a meal that had a lot of meat in it and I knew that I just wanted to focus on vegetables for a while so that's why I really did it and I'm feeling good I'm feeling very clear-minded um, the energy definitely went down at first but it went back up because the first week I let myself again eat anything except for meat which means I was eating carbs bread noodles sugars and those things gave me that spike in energy because carbs are supposed to be for energy but because you if you were like me and try to limit those your body is supposed to learn how to use fat for energy um, and since like I was doing mostly veggies and fruits it was like back to lower fat but higher carbs so it went back to what it what it knew and I did have energy um, more but I do notice like if I did not eat the protein the energy from the carbs did not stay long and the feeling of being full did not stay long also when I ate a lot because I did eat a lot that first week I would get full but I wouldn't get miserable like you do when you eat meat so when I like would eat a big meal with meat involved I literally felt miserable I felt like I just wanted to throw up um, but with veggies I would eat a lot and I would feel full and I would stop eating and I would be full for like 10 minutes and it wasn't ever a miserable I want to throw up full it was just like a regular full and I liked that um, because I really felt like that's how it should be um, so I like that aspect you're very regular if you have any digestion issues I never have I've, I've always been somewhat regular but I'm extra regular now when it comes to that TMI I know but hey we're having the talk and um, in regards to anything else I just felt like really focused and really like clear-minded and I think that has to do with the alcohol because I'm somewhat of a lightweight so even though yes I'm only having one or two glasses I would still be completely buzzed or tipsy so 
Um, I think not having that has helped a lot when it came to getting up, doing the work, not getting so much stress at work because I was able to be highly productive. Um, I've been in the gym more. I was able to, I started off um, slowly, but I've been having perfect weeks, more hitting my at least minimum of four times in the gym a week since week one. Um, and then going up since then. So that's been good. Um, and I haven't honestly felt the need to weigh myself because I have just felt better. And that was the goal of this month, is really just to feel better. And at the end of the month, I might, you know, on the 31st or February 1, I might go ahead and weigh myself to see if anything actually shed it off. But I just feel better and that was the initial goal. If I lose any inches or pounds, I lose inches so much easier than I lose pounds. So that's number one reason why I don't weigh myself often. Um, but I will, you know, measure myself and see if any changes have happened. Um, I've noticed a little bit, but it sort of seems like it's more of a reshaping. Like I'm getting my figure back because I've always, you know, in years past, been very thick on the lower body. I've always had thick legs and a big ass, to be honest. Um, but my upper body, my stomach was usually always flat and my boobs were like a good D cup, which I loved. Um, but when I gained all this weight, it's been mostly upper body, which I'm not used to. So I've gotten a little belly and my boobs are not a D cup, but I'm thinking a double or whatever's after a double D and I'm not so much feeling it. Um, because I feel like huge boobs make you just look bigger than you are. So hopefully when I lose weight, they'll go back down and I'll get my supple D cups back. We'll see, but either way we'll make it work and we just got to keep going at it. Um, I suggest the detox for anybody looking to, you know, vegetarian recipes. I made this awesome veggie lasagna when I was eating noodles. Um, after the noodles, I've just been eating more salads. I've been having more soups. Like, I've been making tomato soup, broccoli, rice, and, uh, not broccoli. Well, I did have rice in the first week, too, but I've limited that down. So, just, like, broccoli and cheese soup. Um... What else do I eat? I've, I'm trying to limit the potatoes. I've gotten down to like red potatoes only like maybe once a week or something if I'm feeling extra hungry. Um, but when you, I had headaches. I also had headaches because just the drastic change, it's not so much of not eating meat, but I heard it's actually the drastic change of your diet obviously has your body freaking out. So I had headaches at the beginning, um, but I noticed as soon as I ate um, high protein foods, the headache went away. So I also made a black bean soup, which was really, really good and tons of fiber and protein. Um, and then snack wise, I would just have apples and peanut butter because that peanut butter is your protein. Um, and then I also have, um, what else? protein shakes duh so now that everything is limited down my breakfast is always a protein shake um, I have this amazing protein powder that I found I, I have to look up the name but it has very low carbs and, and has like 25 grams of protein each scoop um, so I have that um, halo top is a protein based ice cream so I still get the sweet tooth filled fulfilled without having too much of other stuff um, but yeah, so it's been great. I did have a couple hiccups. Um, we went out to a Mavs game and I'm sorry, but if you can survive two weekends and go out to like a sporting event and not have one drink, God bless you. But Lord knows I like struggled and like, you know, sporting events and having a cocktail just go hand in hand. They just do. They just do. Okay. I had a cocktail, only one, and then um, had a very busy week, and my honey wanted to take me on a date, and at the place we went to, there was an amazing deal for margarita pizza, which has no meat, and it's super yummy, and a bottle of wine for an amazing price, so he ordered it, and I had a glass, okay, just a glass. But then, <laughs> if I'm 
being completely transparent. Then um, we went to church, went to a movie, and the movie theater had a bar. But I did it, I resisted the movie theater. But then my dad wanted to go watch the football game. The um, Saints versus the Rams, the championship. And we went to a nice little happy hour. They had $2 mimosas. I mean, if I didn't take advantage of that, that would just be so wrong. So, sorry, not sorry. I told you, after the two weeks, I literally felt re-cleansed, rejuvenated, all that good stuff. So I honestly feel that I met the goal I was trying to, to achieve, so. We'll just leave that there. So yeah, um, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Did you do a detox in January? Let me know, let me know what you did, your results. I wanna know what else I can do to like get my insides healthy. Probiotics, apple cider vinegar, turmeric. I'm aware of all of those good things and I've taken advantage of them. What else do you have for me? I need to know. I want a good multivitamin. If you have any suggestions, leave them down below. I was doing the gummies. I know I'm a big kid. My mom told me that they are not effective, so I stopped doing them. But I don't want to swallow a horse pill every day. So if you have a good multivitamin that doesn't taste like crap and make you burp crap that stinks or makes you choke every time you try to take it, please let me know down below. I would. Highly appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. I'll be doing more videos of just us chatting um, as well as um, finally getting into the DIY stuff that I do. I know it's been a long promise, but it's finally coming because I'm getting ready for my engagement party.